Hey, Elle, do you know what happened on Days of Our Lives yesterday? Why, yes, Margot, I do. What happens when the glitz of Hollywood collides with the brilliance of Elle Woods once more? In a town where movies become memories and star-studded nights tell tales of dreams fulfilled, the Legally Blonde series stands as a testament to long-lasting charm. As whispers of a new chapter unfold, the anticipation is real. So, what's sparking this renewed frenzy for our favorite blonde's next move? Join the buzz and discover the magic behind the newest installment. In this video, we will be exploring the twists and turns through Hollywood's most charming and women-empowering movie series, Legally Blonde. Are you free? It's an emergency. With another sequel in the makes as part of a 20-year anniversary of the franchise, fans are more than just excited. Though if you were a fan of Elle Woods and her journey through the ups and downs of life, you're definitely in the right place. Let's put on our pink sunglasses and delve deeper, shall we? Sequels can be tricky, some dazzle and outshine, while others shine in a new light. With Elle's latest adventures on the horizon, fans everywhere are excited. So to begin, here's an interesting fact straight up. Did you know Legally Blonde was inspired by Amanda Brown's real-life adventures at Stanford Law School? Yeah, she penned down her funny law school experiences. Now, here's the tea. When the Legally Blonde crew wanted to film at Stanford, they were like, nope, we don't want our reputation messed with. Ouch, right? University of Chicago was also on the list, and they gave it a hard pass too. But then, drama. Harvard said, okay, you can use our name, but filming here? Uh-uh. So guess where Elle Woods' iconic Harvard scenes were shot? UCLA, USC, and Rose City High in Pasadena. Time to buckle up and let's hop into our time machine. We're heading back to the year 2020. Bree sent out a message on Twitter and guess what she said? Great news alert, some things are just meant to be. It was like she shouted out, guess who's back? And just like when you hear the ice cream truck coming, everyone got super excited and couldn't wait. They were all thinking, talking, and guessing about Elle Woods coming back to the big screen. Imagine your favorite character making a grand return. That's how big a deal this was. Elle? Warner? I totally forgot you go here. What are you talking about? Everyone was eagerly waiting, like it was the night before a birthday party. Oh, the fun adventures Elle Woods was going to have. My still scratching his head. Yeah, which must be a nice vacation for his balls. <laughs> talking about stars, Reese isn't the only shining one in the movie. There's a lady named Jennifer Coolidge, and she's a huge deal in these movies. Imagine having a chocolate cake without the chocolate, or a birthday party without balloons. That's what Legally Blonde would be without Jennifer. She plays this awesome lady named Paulette, who is funny, strong, and super stylish. And guess what? The star of the show, Reese Witherspoon, that's Elle Woods in real life, totally agrees with us. She once told everyone in a big TV interview, there's no Legally Blonde 3 without Jennifer Coolidge. Jennifer is super important, and everyone from the tiny toddlers to the grown-ups knows it. Now, who's ready for a sprinkle of extra magic in our story? Drumroll, please. It's Mindy Kaling. For those of you who might be thinking, who's that? Let me spill the beans. Mindy's like the super cool storyteller who's made us laugh and cheer with her awesome shows and characters. If you've seen the funny and silly moments in The Office or the hilarious The Mindy Project, you've seen her magic in action. Oh, please, Jim. Please, please, Jim. Please, please, please. He's so cute. I like him so much, and I would do it, but I'm too shy. Please, Jim, please. And guess what? Our favorite pink-loving, super smart Elle Woods invited Mindy to join her in writing the sequel script. Mindy was so happy. She shouted out to everyone on Instagram saying, Elle Woods is so cool. She shows you can love dresses, pink, and still be the smartest person in the room. Bend and snap, people. Oh, and by the way, the bend and snap? It's this super fun move Elle does, and with Mindy around, who knows what fun new spin she'll add to it. Fans everywhere are jumping up and down with excitement, waiting to see. You must be thinking, why does Elle love pink so much? The iconic pink of Legally Blonde isn't just a fashion statement, it's a tribute to Elle Woods' roots in the sorority Delta Nu. This vibrant shade embodies the sorority's values of confidence, camaraderie, and empowerment. As Elle transitions from sorority queen to fierce law student, the pink remains a constant, symbolizing her unyielding spirit and ties to her Delta Nu origins. In the film, pink is more than just eye candy. It's a bold symbol of Elle's identity and the power of confident femininity. Mindy and her writer friend Dan Gore are reported to be very cautious while creating the new adventures of Elle Woods. It's like adding a new tower to a beloved castle of stories. Dan, who has written some super funny stories for a show called Brooklyn Nine-Nine, joined forces with Mindy. 
Together, they felt a huge excitement, but also the pressure. It's like being handed the best ice cream cone ever and making sure not to let it melt or drop. They wanted to keep all the things we love about Elle, like her smart brain, her kind heart, and her love for everything pink, while adding new, exciting bits to her story. Remember, it's no easy job. Mindy even said they were working on something as big as Reese's own superhero team story. So while they're making sure Elle still shines bright, they also want her to fit right into today's world, full of new adventures and challenges, without making her seem like just a cartoon. They want her to be the real, amazing Elle we all know and love. Also, guess what? Selma Blair, who played Vivian, wants to be in the next movie. She talked to Entertainment Tonight and said she loves the first movie a lot. It's bright, fun, and now a favorite for many. Well, we all know what the plots were for the first two installments. In the first movie, Elle dives into Harvard Law, aiming to win back her ex. But surprise, she shines bright, showing it's what's inside that counts. And then, fans got ready for round two. Elle hits Washington, D.C., trading her school books for the big league. She's all about helping animals and teaching us that with some heart and a splash of style, you can make a difference. From high school to high heels in the halls of power, Elle's journey is a must-watch. It's time to dive into one of the biggest mysteries of this story. What's going to happen in the new Elle Woods movie? Think of it as the golden ticket everyone's trying to find. Now, imagine your most favorite thing in this world, getting an upgrade. That's kind of what's happening to Elle's story. While the exact details are sneakier than where you hide your secret stash of candy, we have some juicy hints. Elle Woods, she's grown up a bit and is now dancing into her fabulous 40s. And if you're wondering how our stylish lawyer is dealing with life now, compared to when she was just 21, you're not alone. Mindy gave us a tiny peek, saying it's super fun imagining the grown-up Elle. Just picture your mentor when they were your age, doing all the cool and fun things. What has Elle learned? What new shoes does she have? How is she changing the world in her pink high heels? The questions are endless, and the excitement? It's off the charts. Speaking of Elle Woods, here's another interesting fact about Reese. Matt Davis, who played Elle's not-so-nice boyfriend, had a big crush on Reese Witherspoon since he was 15 because of a movie she did called A Far Off Place. When he found out he'd be in the same movie as Reese, he got super nervous. This showed when he kept messing up his lines around her. Producers even had to check if he was okay. Eventually, Matt told Reese about his crush. But Reese, being kind and focused, told him they needed to get back to work. It's a cute reminder that movie stars can be just as shy and nervous as anyone else. Coming towards who might be joining the cast this time? In a behind-the-scenes moment from the 2022 Emmy Awards, Lizzo and Jennifer Coolidge united for a hilarious tribute to Legally Blonde 2. Holding their Emmy Awards, Lizzo jokes, This Emmy makes me want a hot dog real bad, referencing a memorable line from the film. Coolidge, who won for her role in The White Lotus, replies, Me too, a vegan hot dog. Lizzo adds, a vegan frankfurter. The playful interaction celebrates their Emmy wins and nods to the iconic film where Coolidge told Reese Witherspoon's character, You look like the 4th of July, makes me want a hot dog real bad. Fans instantly recognize the reference and have been speculating ever since if Lizzo will be part of the movie or not. Guess we shall only know once the script is done and everything's official. Moving on, let's discuss the unforgettable bend and snap sequence from Legally Blonde. It's a classic moment that many of us couldn't resist imitating in front of our mirrors. And who could overlook Paulette's hilarious attempt with her delivery man crush? But here's a juicy tidbit for the fans. That iconic scene we all know and love was initially planned by the director as a full-blown musical number. Just imagine, bend and snaps everywhere. Now, with whispers of Legally Blonde 3 floating around, fans are buzzing with curiosity. Will we finally get that musical number we deserve? Or perhaps something even more epic? The excitement is through the roof. One thing's for sure, fans everywhere are eagerly waiting. Time for a plot twist, straight out of a movie sequel. Ever had that jaw-dropping moment when you see a friend and think, oh my stars, they're just like their mom or dad? Brace yourselves because this next reveal is pure Hollywood magic. Say hello to Ava Philippe. Isn't she the spitting image of Reese Witherspoon? Well, there's a reason for that. She's Reese's real-life princess, her daughter. Just imagine them as two matching sparkling gems in Elle Woods' dazzling crown. Now, while Ava has been playing hide-and-seek with Hollywood's big lights, if she steps into this pink-tinted world, it would be like finding a secret note in your favorite book. A surprise that's simply too delightful to miss. Imagine the thrill of awaiting the next chapter of the best bedtime story ever. That's the buzz for the upcoming Legally Blonde movie. Elle Woods isn't just a character, she's the superhero you've always rooted for. Smart as a whip, strong as an oak, and radiant as a summer day. Now, as whispers about the next movie fill the air, one thing's for sure. Everyone's readying their pink glasses. 
because a new Elwood's adventure is coming and it promises to dazzle like never before. And this brings us to the end of our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more behind the scenes stories of your favorite movies. Until next time. I once had to judge a tidy whitey contest for Lamb to Cap a Pie. Trust me, I can handle anything.